Good morning, boys and girls. It's great to be back again. I hope you're all doing well. The weather's beautiful. I hope you're getting outside enjoying life so, and having some fun. Well, this morning, I have some questions for you, and I want you to think about it, and then whoever you're with, you answer the questions, and I'll see if you got it right. My first question is, if it takes 20 minutes to boil one hard-boiled egg, how many minutes does it take to boil two? How, how many of you answered 20 minutes? Oh, I see some of you raising your hand out there. Yes, it doesn't take any longer to boil two hard-boiled eggs than, than it does from one. So 20 minutes was the answer. Now I have another question for you. If a farmer has 15 sheep and all but nine of them run away, how many sheep does he have less? How many of you answered nine? That's right, nine's the answer because I told you in the, in the, when I told you in the question, all but nine were left. Well, you see, I tried to trick you. Now, I'm sure that some of you don't do this, but has anybody ever tried to tick you, trick you in this way? They say, oh, look over there. And you look and they go, ah, ha, ha, made you look, you dirty crook, stole your mother's pocketbook. Well, you know, sometimes when we play tricks on people, they can be mean. And sometimes they, they are meant to get someone else in trouble. Well, in today's Bible lesson, the, the leaders in the church tried to get Jesus in trouble by performing a trick on him. They asked him, it, they asked Jesus in, if, they were, if the people were required to pay taxes to Caesar. Now, the government wasn't very popular, so this was really a, a trick sort of question. And when they came to Jesus, they, he, they asked him, and they said, well, what is the answer? Well, if Jesus said yes, then the, then the people who followed him and believed in Jesus would be mad at him. And if he said no, then the people in charge of the government would be mad at him and, get in, and he'd get in trouble with them. Well, Jesus knew they were trying to trick him. So he asked them for a coin. And he said, pull out the coin. So he got a coin like this, similar to this that they were using, and he looked at it and he said, look at it. And he said to them, whose picture is on the coin? Well, they answered Jesus. They said, Caesar. And Jesus said to them, that's right. So give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but then give to God what is God's. So I have a coin here in this picture. And you look at this picture, and this is similar to what they said. Whose picture is that? Well, that's George Washington's picture, our first president of the United States. And then what this says is United States of America. So that's who it belongs to. So if we look at this, just like what Jesus said, we should give our coins to George Washington. But then the question is, what should we give to God? What is Jesus asking us when he tells us that we should give to God the things that are God's? Well, way back in the Bible, at the very beginning, we are told that God created you and me, your brothers and your sisters, your mom and dad, all, we, all in his own image. In other words, God loved us so much that he made us in his image so we would look. So if, if we're made in someone's image, if we're made to look like them, then pretty much we belong to them. And that's what God's saying. We belong to God. So in belonging to God, then what does he want us to do? What are the things that we should do to give God to God what is God's. Well, have you thought about things like maybe we need to love our neighbor? Maybe that mean kid down the street isn't always nice to you, but we still should love him because that's what God wants us to do. We should love each other. And then we should help if mom and dad need help around the house. We should help them. Or if somebody needs help picking something up at school or something, we should help them. That's how we do and what we give God what is God's. And then the other way we go is we go to Sunday school, we say our prayers, and we, and we learn what God is teaching us about how if we believe in Jesus, we'll have eternal life. So the lesson for today is, yeah, we're gonna pay our taxes, we're gonna give our taxes, that's what your mom and dad do, 
But the real lesson is when he tells us to give to God what is God's, he wants us to give ourselves to God. And that means we need to love others, help others, say our prayers, and show the people by the way we behave and let our light shine and say to them, I belong to God. So with that now, I'm going to ask all of you, fold your hands, and we'll say this, say together after me now, and we'll say it good and loud so whoever you're with can hear you. And I'll say the words, and you say them after me, and we'll close with our prayer today. Dear God, dear God, help us to spend our time, help us to spend our time showing your love, showing your love through acts of kindness to others, through acts of kindness to others. May we always, may we always obey you, obey you, and love you as you love us, and love you as you love us. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we pray, we pray, and we always say and close with that big, loud, amen. Well, God's blessings to you. You guys have a wonderful week. And as you go about, let your light shine so that everybody knows just what we know, and that is that Jesus loves me, and he loves everybody around us. God's blessings. Bye. Thank you.